Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and this afternoon we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the Renewable Energy Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Sequoia Cross from Simplify Battery, and we're going to be looking at the brand new Simplify Energy Storage System. So Sequoia, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, you know, at Solar Surge, we try to stay on top of all the latest uh, product releases and all the latest industry news as it relates to solar plus storage. So please tell us what's new with the Simplify Energy Storage System. So Simplify Power was founded over 10 years ago as an LFP battery manufacturer, a lithium iron phosphate battery manufacturer, and we're based in Oxnard, California. So one of the things that Simplify wanted to do was leverage 10 years of experience building LFP batteries in our Oxnard facility. And we wanted to scale up into a more vertically integrated solution with our own inverter and gateway. Um, after being in this industry for over 10 years, we were finding um, that we were answering a lot of technical questions about inverters, about other components that were in the system. And by having a solution that we're controlling the firmware, the hardware, every step of the way, we can guarantee interoperability of those components. We can look at how they're going to transition and grow um, and really control our product roadmap. Absolutely. And, and folks, again, this is the trend that we're seeing is that there's, there's becoming convergence under one brand, typically under the inverter brand, but then having the battery, the gateway, the transfer switch, everything under one platform, as well as the monitoring software as well. And it looks like Simplify is participating in that trend. So for those who aren't familiar with all these different components, would you please just give us a quick walkthrough of what are each of these different components that we're seeing here? Sure. So what you're seeing here is a 4.98 kilowatt hour battery. So this is wall mounted. Um, it's also IP65. So you can mount this indoors or outdoors. Again, leveraging the LFP battery technology. Um, so it's really safe. Um, we use cylindrical cells. Um, we find that those are more resilient, allow us to get 10,000 cycles out of a battery at 80% at depth of discharge. Um, we also support it with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty. Um, on top of the battery, you see a conduit box. So this part here, that goes from here to here, um, is a conduit box. So that's covering up all the terminals. It's also covering up the comms ports. Even though all of them are outdoor rated, we have special comms ports that do seal. Um, we know for code compliance that we have to also have um, all, everything running in conduit. So there's one inch knockouts on either side of the conduit box that allow installers to have a really clean install. Um, what you're seeing up here is the new Simplify 6KW inverter. Um, so this is a hybrid inverter. It allows you to do both DC or AC coupling. So if you want to retrofit an existing system, you can come in and put this this inverter in and retrofit. Um, if you're doing a new install, it can you can pair up to 15 kilowatts of PV. So there's dual MPPT inputs. Each have um, the ability to connect two strings. So about 7.5 kilowatts per MPPT input. Um, and we can parallel stack up to nine of these inverters. So that's 54 kW. Great, that's going to be my next question. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then with the batteries, um, with the closed loop communications, we can pair um, 72 batteries or parallel stack 72 batteries. That's a little, almost 360 kilowatt hours of storage. Great. So guys, if you're looking about scalability, I think this is going to score very, very well in the area of scalability. Now, what about the energy track here? What does this unit do? Um, so the energy track gateway, um, this is in an, also an outdoor rated IP65 box. So inside this is a gateway that's running the energy track operating system. So this allows you to remotely monitor, program the system. You can commission the entire system in about five minutes. Um, it's also allowing automatic over-the-air updates, so firmware updates that are helping improve the performance of the inverter, as well as firmware updates at um, the battery site as well. Excellent, excellent. And it seems to be a tight, wa watertight enclosure. Yeah. So Sequoia, one of the first things that I noticed when we came over is the, the Briggs & Stratton branding on the Simplify inverter. If yeah. you would, please tell us kind of the, the backstory of the partnership between Simplify and Briggs & Stratton. Sure, so we went through um, 
formal acquisition by Briggs & Stratton a year and one day ago. Um, so this is our first product that is branded um, with the Briggs & Stratton logo. You see in our booth that um, we're really working on transitioning um, the two companies together. It's allowed us, as someone who's, uh, as a company, Simplify, that's been in the industry for over 10 years now, um, it's really enabled us to work with a group that has um, the ability for us to scale, to grow. Um, they have amazing resources now like rapid prototyping um, where we can look at products like this and really innovate and grow and change very quickly. But it's been a great transition. Um, we have salespeople from both teams coming together as part of this. We have Briggs & Stratton generators in our booth because we really feel like it's part of the ecosystem. It's not necessarily an either or where you either have a generator or you have ESS. We can look to use batteries to optimize fuel, um, fuel resources on the generators as well. But it's been, it's been really great. It's exciting. I'm really excited to see where things go and all of the great innovation that we're going to see in the future. Um, I think as we look at the industry, um, there's a lot of companies that are going through this transition. Um, they're seeing that there's ways to leverage energy story, storage leverage renewables and look at where our future is going with clean tech. Um. Absolutely. Well, I mean, for, for folks that have been following the channel for a while, you know that, you know, if, if you're somebody out there that's planning on building off the grid completely, or maybe you're, you're planning to survive a long-term power outage, you know, one of the things I always recommend is to have a fuel burning generator backing up your solar and batteries, not, not to use the generator as the primary power source, but to give you a third level backup to where if you've had overcast weather all week, and the solar hasn't been keeping up with recharging the batteries, you just fire up your generator for a few hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go for running another couple of days off the battery. So it really helps you stretch your fuel supply uh, in a grid down situation. Yeah. Now, not to put you on the spot here, but I've got to ask, because I know the audience wants to know, <laughs> but uh, does the capability exist today to hook up a Briggs & Stratton generator to the Simplify inverter? Yeah, so one of the great things, as we looked at this product, we worked very closely with installers um, to understand what they wanted, the feature sets. So this inverter is capable of working for time of use, grid tie backup, as well as off-grid. And a lot of off-grid systems, as you mentioned before, rely on having a fuel-based generator. So I've always told people in off-grid um, situations to have a really reliable generator and use it as little as possible. And that's really what a system like this can do. This inverter will also work without batteries and that's part of our scalability. So we wanted to enable people to at least get into thinking about energy storage. Maybe they start with one or two batteries and they can continue to add to the system as their needs change as well. So. Great. Now, one, one last question about the generator support, because again, I know that the, the, the audience is going to want to know, but one of the nice things we see on some of the, the generator compatible inverters yes. is the ability for the, the inverter system or the system controller to automatically start the generator or stop the generator based on yeah. the battery state of charge. Is that something that you're going to yeah, be offering? So I'm glad you asked that question again, because I didn't touch on it. So this inverter does have integrated automatic generator start. So it will start a generator based on the voltage of the battery, which is settable. Additionally, it has um, rapid shutdown already integrated in. So we work with AP Smart Systems. Um, so we have a rapid shutdown relay that's built into here, into the inverter. That rapid shutdown relay can be wired to an e-stop. And it's going to disconnect the PV and also disconnect load. Excellent. Well, from what I can tell, it's a very, very impressive offering, a very comprehensive offering. So, million dollar question um, for installers and for potential homeowners that want to purchase this, when will the solution be available? We started shipping the solution last week. So, it's, it is available to the market. You can find um, all of our distributors on our Where to Buy page at simplifypower.com. And so, it, please look them up, reach out, and let them know that you are interested in the new Simplify ESS system. Excellent. Well, folks, there you have it. The new Simplify Energy Storage System. Sequoia, thank you so much for spending time thank with you, us Joe. this afternoon.
Hey folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we publish on Solar Surge, uh, be sure to click on the like button uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, our goal is to make sure that you all have the best up-to-date new product information and product updates. So if you'd like to keep up with us, please click on that subscribe button. That way our videos, when we put them out, it'll, it'll come up in your home feed. Uh, of course, if, if you're a homeowner and you're looking at solar plus storage options, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a quote, you just want to get a comparison or make, make sure you're getting the right equipment or the, the right price, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to the website. You can set up a quick Zoom call with one of our experts here, and we can show you some numbers and what options are available for you. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.